Let's talk new icons on the screens. Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to 3D Make It. Today we're looking at the Big Tree Tech screens again. So Big Tree Tech has been working really hard on adding new features and functionality to these screens. There's been at least three firmware updates since the last video alone. It's pretty great that they're so on top of things. Some of the functionality uh, is the new button layouts. Uh, they have two different styles, which is really nice. They've also added live buttons, which is really cool. I also have a few tips for people who are having the corruption of fonts or on screen icons issue. We'll have a look at that, show you how to solve it. Let's get started. So here's a quick look at the old screen layout. So you got an idea. Here's the custom icons I made. Now, we're going to do the upgrade to the new layout so they're going to completely change so let's have a look all right i'm going to reset it and we'll have a look at the update now you can see the new updates going in and the new fonts are also being updated from the tftp 3.5 folder this is an important step. If you forget to put the TFT 3.5 folder with the fonts and the icons in it for the current firmware that you're going to be updating, you will have the corruption issue. Now I'm going to speed this up about 300% so that you can get a good idea without wasting too much of your valuable time. So once the icons get loaded and updated, it'll do a final reboot and we'll get the new custom icon layout. And here we go. We've got our nice new logo and our new layout. You can see the live buttons there it looks great. So I just want to take a look at the interface for a second here. I've got a screenshot up of it. So having the temperatures live right here uh, is great. I was thinking they were going to do something up at the top, but having it right on the icons, I think is brilliant. This here um, is your speed and feed menu so if you want to increase your feed rate or your other rates you just adjust to here it'll flash back and forth between the two so you've got your um 100 so if you change you wanted to increase um, your extrusion to 105 percent you could you could do it and it would bump between your regular speed of printing plus your extrusion speed of 105 and it, this was bumped back and forth um, really nice if you save your settings it'll give you info screen on right here and it'll scroll uh, any of the last messages that you've uh, received on the printer um, so they've done a really really good job uh, laying out the information in the way uh, that's easy to read the icons have really grown on me. Uh, the first iteration of this, um, which wasn't long ago, uh, I wasn't sold on, but the new iteration, uh, I really like it a lot. So I just wanted to point out something here. Um, if you press the extruder temperature button or the bed button, they actually take you to the same menu. So you're kind of being repetitive here between the two. Um, yes, we need to see the, this on the screen, so understand why they did this. You, they could have made this 
maybe one large button kind of like the info screen um, with both of those on there since they do go to the same menu so we'll just go ahead here and you'll see uh, tap it so the preheat menu and this both of them go here and this is actually very similar to what it was before you go into preheat they did add an additional menu now uh, where you can in the firmware configure your different uh, filament types um, and there we go we've got all of the, all the three common types there um, you can edit them rename them that sort of thing uh, they are you know your normal main icons um, I did also experiment with the new uh, custom icons which I will also show you right away here okay so um, we'll, we'll go into the settings menu now the settings menu hasn't changed too much icons are a little bit different but your standard layout is before the machine menu again hasn't changed too much but there is the custom button now the custom button actually now works if you make your own custom icons, uh, you can tie custom G-code commands to those icons uh, and then have them show up here. It's a little buried, so it'd be nice to have this uh, a little more accessible, especially if you're going to make custom icons. Um, we've got the standard red all the, and G-code, but here's the custom. Now, what I did was I just made an M122 unfortunately it actually doesn't work um, because it doesn't sh the command is too robust and shows too much information um, it'd be nice if there was a way to pare down the information so it would echo either in a full um, screen prompt or a pop-up of at least the status of your drivers or whatever you wanted to do but you can have a number of different custom icons here. Um, they are labeled custom 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. You'll make your custom icons, you'll name them the same, and away you go. So here's a quick peek at how you make your custom icon. You'll def uh, uncomment the custom 0 you can then label it in quotes and then you can put your custom uh, g code command here in my case i went m122 and you always must end it with the slash n now if we look on here it also tells us how to label them uh, each one has a custom label for example you cut once you make your icon you put it in the tft 3.5 folder on your sd card in the bitmap folder and custom 0 1 2 3 and so on once you do that it'll copy that uh, icon file to your screen when you do the next reboot so that's that's ties in really nicely to the next part when i talk about the corruption and i'll show you what that looks like and how to fix it so here's a quick example of what uh, I mean by screen corruption. Some people have had whole fonts that are corrupted. It'll just be a box. You can see here that um, the print icon did not update. The fonts are unreadable. Uh, this is due to the fact that it was flashed with the new ROM version, but there was no TFT 3.5 or 2.4 folder, depending on which screen you're using, with the new fonts. Always read the notes when you're looking at these uh, uh, firmware files. If you just take the stock firmware file and flash it, that's nice, but you also need to grab the stock icon files, whichever icon files you want. If you don't want the live icons and you want the the older style looking icons the blue and white ones you need to grab those because there's newer versions of it that match the new layout so you may have to make sure that you get the correct ones now to 
fix this, you copy onto the SD card all of the appropriate uh, files. Once you've copied them to the SD card, then you just stick the SD card into your computer and away you go. So for example, <clears throat> this is the firmware I put on the my uh, 2.4 screen. The once on all the new firmware, when you flashed the icon set and the fonts, it renames this to current, just so you know what the current set that you're running is. Um, now, if you want to reflash those icons or update them, copy a new TFT folder here, I just renamed it, but we've got a number of new fonts in these folders and a number of actual icons. So make sure that you uh, copy the latest one out of the appropriate uh, icon set that you're running, whether it's the latest one. This one is actually now a little bit old. There's actually a newer revision since, uh, since I flashed this. Okay, so I'm just gonna run through this. So I'm gonna reboot this. It'll run through. It'll flash the update. There it's getting the new fonts from the fonts folder. I'm just gonna zip through this. It updates my icons and it now is rebooted and the corruption is gone. As you can see, the layout is good. All the fonts are readable. Everything looks good. My print icon has been updated because the newer icon set was in the TFT uh, bitmap folder and we're good to go. So if anyone is having the corruption issue, download the latest version of uh, the firmware files from the Big Tree site. Make sure you do all the settings in there for your appropriate bed size and uh, adjust all the temperatures for your for your different uh, materials if you have a preference on where you like to kind of start your PLA or your ABS. Just get those all in there, uh, set your everything and away you go uh, and you should be all fixed up. So there you have it. There's tons of new uh, updates. Uh, we can fix the screen corruption. There's uh, a lot of different videos now coming out about these screens, but I tell you, they're iterating so fast on the updates. There's already a new screen model that's now compatible with the Ender that fits perfectly in there to replace the stock Ender or CR10 screen. Um, I think they've done a great job on these. I really like them. Uh, I can't wait uh, to see what's coming next. Um, the live icons was a really nice surprise. Uh, I hope they keep those uh, features coming and uh, they keep putting out stability updates. So I stress to anyone, don't just get the factory bin file. Spend the time, go on the site, uh, download the VS Code. It's not hard to set up with Platform IO. David did a really nice video on how to set that up bring in the config file it's even simpler to configure than marlin so if you have limited marlin experience you do not have to worry uh, it's the layout of the file is great you just go into the one config file um, after, and configure all your parameters for your printer um, and then compile uh, if you have an error, uh, you just go through. It's in pretty plain English on what the errors are. Most of the time you've selected the wrong board, um, that sort of thing. So just take your time, get the latest firmware, compile it. Then you can take the latest icons, put them on your SD card with the latest firmware that you just compiled for your printer. It's not as scary as it sounds. 
uh, for anyone who's new, anyone who's experienced, they'll be like, oh, this is a piece of cake, because it is. So, thank you very much. I'm amazed at all the people who uh, have been subscribing lately. We are at 900 and something now. Uh, that's amazing. Uh, Dave and I, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we'll, we're talking about having some sort of thousand subscriber event but uh it's a little ways away yet um uh, but hopefully it's coming soon so if you haven't already please like subscribe and see you next time